So it's Sunday morning. I didn't know the clock went forward. So that's my get up time. It's Matt! Hello Matt. How are you this fine Sunday morning? Good. Are you going to be com communicating entirely in symbols today? <laughs> Redeemer of Souls! Redeemer of Souls! Was that the new one? Yeah. Ghost. How abysmal. We have it. Yeah, we got it in the back. Where have you gone, Matt? Hello. <laughs> Don't go in there. Right, it's Sunday. It's day one. Hello, Matt. Good afternoon. Oh fuck. Good morning. Actually, still morning. Yeah. <laughs> We're just getting up for. I have children. She has a selection of the music. Lovely. I'll keep it busy for 10 minutes. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Redeemer of Souls! So, we are going to go see the Devon Townsend Project in Bristol. It's a six hour drive and we are loading up. Yeah. It's yeah. actually a 10 minute drive. It's fine. It just feels like six hours with you because it's such a kit. I'm just accelerate. Please come. Accelerate. <laughs> accelerate. No, oh, there goes the back of the car! on the world's largest car park, the M25. We're about, what would you say, a third of the way there? Probably. Maybe. And, um, yeah, so, because... More importantly, I'm halfway through this bag of crisps. Exactly, and what what a perfect time to eat it than, you know, being parked. Oh. Which we essentially are. I want a sandwich. I want bacon. Planet Earth. It's me. It's uh, day one of our road trip of Bristol. I'm currently in Bristol. Um, yeah, I've got the single room. Um, Matt and girlfriend Emma have got the double room. Uh, mine is much nicer. Um, for one simple reason. Come, 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 come this way. Let's, let's, let's walk backwards into this room. You see that over there? That is a bath. This is the first ever hotel I've been in that's ever had a bath. <laughs> I could say quite a lot for the, uh, the budget of hotel room that I go for, uh, actually. I like it. And we've got... Tonight, we're going to be seeing the Devon Townsend project. Um, tomorrow, we were going to be seeing Dorje, but poor Rob Chapman um, has caught the nergy. But that means that we've got an extra day just to fuck around Bristol and taking the sights and sounds and smells and just generally piss about and see what happens. I reckon we might have a bit of a booze up on the last night in the hotel room, so all good. Um, yeah, so come, let, let me tour you around the room. This is a... this will be bed central. Laptop, that's mine. Television, tea and coffee making facilities. 
stool. Some lovely cupboard of loveliness. On the nightstand, we've got the welcome package and Scott Pilgrim books one to six. Because I actually get very bored very easily. If you come this way into the bathroom, there's a door that goes to nothing. Got a lovely little sink, my wash bag, a bath, and a loo. Day one of the Bristol Adventures. After a four and a half hour journey, 250 miles, we're finally here. I'm in a hotel that has Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have a really good time. So. Go home, PC world. You are drunk. You do not belong in the car park. You are a sign. Get up onto the top of the building where you can tell people what delicious goods you are. It's okay boys and girls, we may be lost, but at least we found Thomas the fucking tank engine. Well. And it has been authorised by the uh, producers Brit Allcroft according to that plaque. That plaque somewhere down there. Yeah. So, uh... Um, well, that's fucking terrifying. Nothing says wasteful sewage pipes and Thomas the tank faces. Shut the fuck up! We get it! Jesus! You've got bells! No need to rub it in our faces! Did you just touch my ass? I did! I accidentally... Matt, show me your excited face. Shut up! Shut up! That is 110% excitement. I need pizza. And the pizza we shall have. What flavour of pizza are we getting now? Diamond special. It's got diamonds in it. Nothing like a diamond special. I want to eat your hat. Little bit of Hat's back on. How, how excited are you? Well, I, on, a, on a scale of uh, 0 to 1, I'm somewhere between 0 and 1. May it be uh, noted that this is perhaps the first time being on 0 2 has ever meant anything good. Yeah, no, so, um. That's uh, the line for us, and somewhere over there, I don't know if that even works, is the line for everyone else. So, uh, ha ha ha, ha ha, suck it. What's your favourite word? Penis. Hooray! Hello planet Earth, <coughs> it is uh, night time, head to day one. Look out the window, yeah it's night time most definitely. Just come back from the uh, the Bristol gig of Devon Townsend and oh my god it was good. Um, not in a kind of like, oh my god I don't know how to die, but in an actual like genuine lucid enjoyment sort of way it was, it was really something else. I went to very ill-advisedly try and find the venue on foot, the O2 Academy. Got horrendously lost, it took us two and a half hours to get there. <laughs> but we got there in time, we uh, grabbed a pizza. Really good pizza actually. Uh, props to the Diamond Pizza Place, or the Diamond Kebab House, or whatever in Bristol. Really good uh, seven inch pizzas, the Diamond Special. Amazing. Matt is, uh, his phone contract is with O2, so he was able to get priority uh, queuing which meant that we got in mostly before everyone else. We were able to back some t-shirts. I think I was about the fourth or fifth person to buy a shirt. Look, it's a Z2 shirt. It's swag. I don't really get the chance to, or haven't really, actually, gotten the chance to buy swag at a venue. I heard tell from the industry that the majority of bands get their revenue from merchandising. And Devon being no different, you know. It's ticket sales and merch bookings. Just an incredible gig. Uh, had Shining. Never heard Shining before. Never seen them in action. It was really good to see them. Ah, my arms are getting tired, sorry. Kind of weird jazz, metal, saxophonic rock. Uh, saw Periphery as well, first time seeing Periphery. Uh, much the shock and dismemberment of a lot of my friends who were into the gent scene. Got the audience very riled up and very kind of into it. And Devin strolled on. 
announced he had a cold and blew us away with just the most amazing set list ever. Actually, it was a really well chosen set list. Don't know about anyone else, I enjoyed it at least. He regards us with tales of his shit filled uh, pickup truck. Uh, Matt and I drank only a couple of lagers. He, I think, drank cider. Um, and as soon as it began, it was over, and I'm home. And I feel really inspired and really charged and really set to kind of take on musical endeavours, as it were. Anyway, I'm going to drink some water, read some Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, watch some Family Guy and go to bed because my laptop charger is fucked. Um, at some point tomorrow I'll have a bath and play The Sims. Another day in Bristol just doing fuck all. It's gonna be good. Hello planet Earth, my name is Aaron X. This is Matt. Hi. We're being really sad, because Matt is a, uh, a massive nerd. Bye. So, it's day three. You may have noticed I uh, missed our day two. That was because I was being hungover, and then drunk, and then sleeping. It was a very uneventful day. We just kind of milled around Bristol for a bit. Although, as you are about to see, we did. We, ha we, ha we had a couple of shenanigans. Hello Planet Earth, my name is Aaron X, and today we have had a break. And, uh, and today we are measuring a platform, because Matt is a massive train nerd, and what we're at at the moment is an old train station platform. It's a lot longer than I thought it was. This thing here. And uh, Matt is attempting to recreate this particular train line, and needs to stick a station here. Now, for, um, for those who are railway orientated, this was of course the uh, Cheddar Valley Line running from Yatton with a connection to Bristol all the way through to Cheddar, known as the Strawberry Line due to its main trade of strawberries. And this station here, which dates back to some fucking time, yeah. let's see, I am going uh, uh, you going to see right there? It basically... I sort it, of bought a bigger tape measure. Yeah, it, it goes all the way down there. Matt's tape measure is exactly three meters long. That means we have three of your finest meters to play with. Down this whole fucking thing. So we're gonna be here for a fucking long while. Measuring a platform. 10 centimeters. 20 centimeters. <laughs> ah, bollocks. So I'm hungover. I went to go see the Devon Townsend Project at the O2 Arena in Bristol. It's a lovely pub opposite it called the Hatchet Inn which served Doombar, one of my favourite real ales ever. So we went there yesterday, you know, not around gig time. We also explored some music shops. I fell in love with a keyboard that I shouldn't have fallen in love with. And so, because I couldn't afford the keyboard, um, Matt and Emma and I, pictured somewhere over there, decided to go and drink our sins away and we went to the Hatchet Inn and we had a lot of Doom Bars and also ate some of their fine pub grub. I had a vodka, which was a really bad mistake, and then we went to go to do a very silly thing. It's uh, shenanigans. It's complete shenanigans. We decided to do shenanigans because, well, we're, we are crazy mofos, as it were. We are completely crazy and I'm just, I'm just going for a wander at the moment. We've checked out of our hotel. I am stonkingly hungover. Well, I was a lot more hungover um, very much earlier this morning. There's no footage for day two, from, from me at least, because my camera ran out of batteries. And I now feel even more of a nerd than I've ever been before. Which is saying a lot, because he actually felt like an amazing amount of nerd coming here and measuring a... Uh, did. We've, uh, uh, station. Several cyclists and joggers and things have gone past giving us funny looks, but... Yeah. Um, One gave us a finger. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was quite nice. The other gave me her number. Yeah. yeah. I think it was Samaritans. <laughs> Takes lots of photos and then I can paste them together and create some sort of back scene made from the actual location. Exactly. See, the model railways is, is more than just nerdiness. It's chronic nerdiness. <laughs> so, uh, how have you found this trip in and around Bristol, Matt? I have found it awesome. It has been good. We have uh, mixed in some heavy metal. Yep. Some railway used to be metal and some uh, <laughs> burglary, drunkery and damn foolery. Absolutely. Which is what everything a holiday should be. What was your favourite song from the Devon Townsend Project? Oh, yeah. probably Death Ray. Or oh. March of the Poozers. Shit, they're hot. Uh, for me, it'll have to be Night. 
either night or hyperdrive. Both very enjoyable moments. Hyperdrive was good. Hyperdrive. The whole thing was really heavy. Really. Uh, Apart from ER. ER was a really wonderful thing. Dude. E. Oh. Great. E. I sang. Oh. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Matt just farted. <laughs> He's doing the most potent real ale farts I think I've ever smelled ever. I've been sharing a car journey with him and I'm going to share an even longer car journey with him on the way home. Um, and the most recent one I smelt was one that apparently happened not half a second before I smelt it. Which is fucking impressive. Right, we're now going to drive home. We're going to listen to Ghost. Well, apparently we've got one more stop. Via a road. Via a road. <laughs> Friggin' Jesus, that's tall. Yeah, it's been a good time, and now we are on the drive home. I say home, this is a little off the beaten track. We're we'll making a couple of stops on the way. Yeah, it's been a really good time. That's one whistle stopped at Cheddar Gorge. Let's see if we can buy some cheese. My, uh, my good horts are somewhere up ahead. Hang on, keep dancing, I need this. <laughs> Tell the lovely punters where we are. We are in Cheddar. Cheddar. And uh, what, what do they sell here? Everything. Absolutely everything. Like everywhere else. They might as well charge you for air. Yeah. Um, they charge you for walking, parking, uh, eating. They charge you for uh, having a look. Taking pictures of goats. And a wee. Yeah. yeah, it's just very well. Yeah. Uh, of course we buy cheese, which is... Oh, that, that is true. If I speak cheddar, you would happily buy cheese. Uh, I've just bought a little bit of cheese. I haven't. But Emma has. Yeah. That's fine. I've just been taking pictures of goats and ducks. Which actually is about normal for a, a, a trip out of the British countryside. Enjoy. Thank you. You get a lot of weird looks from passers-by. I... I... I can't quite see to, to get the hang of this standing up business. Where's the off button? Where's the off button? Good news, Emma. Good news, everyone!